one of the things I love about being an arborist is that, or, or a horticulturalist in general, is I get stumped on a daily basis. Uh, why do I love that? I guess what I mean to imply is that I, I love the challenge of how many plants there are in the world. Even big plants, even trees, natives, even native big trees. You'd think I'd know them all. No. I've recently been introduced to Fraxinus profunda, the pumpkin ash. Uh, bark looks very similar. The form looks very similar. Uh, the leaf set very similar, but I will say that what stuck out for me most uh, is the the glossiness, the glabrousness of the leaves. Very thick and shiny. And I don't know why, I don't know if this is common, but I certainly will be watching. But look at how prolific it's seeding in the summer of 2020. Who knows? Um, we protected this tree once we discovered it here on our land. It's about five inches in diameter, maybe 20 feet tall. Fraxinus profunda, the pumpkin ash. We got lots of ash problems, but if we can save a few, I sure hope that this is uh, among them. We, of course, are uh, much mostly uh, familiar with the white ash. You see the green ash a lot in parking lots and on streetscapes. The black ash is more of a lowland wetland species, uh, famous for making baskets with the strips of the wood. And then there's the blue ash. I don't think I've ever seen a blue ash in person around here, but it is native east of the Mississippi. And now I know about the pumpkin ash. Thanks for watching.